what to do for one day or 24 hours in Ghent, Belgium. Hello and welcome back to my channel. For those of you just joining us, my name is Bonnie and my channel is Bon Voyage Let's Adventure. We are here in Ghent, Belgium for 24 hours. We want to see what this charming city has to offer. We take a train from Bruges to Ghent. We show you the charming Hotel Lancelot that was a former textile owner's home. And then we, we actually discover a music festival in full swing where all the public transportation trams were shut down and the whole center of the city is a walking street full of vendors, music, and fun. So we will show you the architectural beauty of the city and the, the cathedral and the city center. It is a beautiful place. We're happy that we actually caught it. We traveled here so we could leave for France the next day. And so come join us as we explore around and discover Ghent, Belgium. Bon voyage, let's adventure. de Medici in Bruges and they had a great breakfast over here um, you can see they have all kinds of food with champagne and a really good coffee ma machine so I had four cups of coffee <laughs> to just try to wake up I just realized that you know we've been gone for almost a month and it's so um, invigorating but it is really tiring so now we are on our way to Ghent and there's Livy trying to get that fish out of the jacket. She's so overpacked, she had to go <laughs> move away, but she's managed. We're leaving now to Ghent. Ghent from Bruges. It's a really nice train. There's nobody here. I think this is a non tourist area. As you can see, there's nobody. wheelchair section and it always has enough room for all these bags and Libby's bags. Mine are just right here. A small one and a big one. My hope is to bring you practical information about cruise travel. I will cover cruise destinations, cruise excursion ideas, and travel related tips. Please remember to subscribe. You don't want to miss anything and turn on that notification bell. Thank you. Just arrived in Ghent. It was a crazy time because there's a big music festival going on and the whole tram line is closed in the center of the city. So we went to the center of the city and then we couldn't get through to where we need to go. So we had to walk a ways and then finally get here. It's so um, tasteful and it's very private. We have a TV, this is very, you're very nice. We have a sitting area here with the changing table. There's Olivia. We have a look at our outside view. It's such an interesting city. It's so gothic. Here's the bathroom. Check this out. It's nice and huge. A big tub and shower, the mirrors. I love the tasteful uh, decorations. It really was not a bad price. Cute. But we're probably a tram ride away from the train station and a tram ride away from downtown. So we're going to go back and see what's going on in the city center. This is the last day of a 10 day festival and everybody's coming to see it. Our hotel. This was this old textile owner's home. Lobby. breakfast room. The new friend. Aww. It's friendly. Why are you laughing, Libby? It's like kitty cat. Our fun 
first animal we have got to interact with. I was like, hi. Aww. Louie's looking at the noodle bar across the street. We're at a noodle place, and we're trying to get a lot of noodles and all sorts. So we stopped by. This is what I got. Okay. Ah, thank you. It's like cookies. What's that? Outdoors. This is my, what is this, Livy? Noodles and vegetables. And Livy got some type of vegetarian dish. It's delicious. much closed down and this reminds me of either uh, a county fair or an Oktoberfest or something. It's crazy. Everybody's out. There's temporary craft stalls and beer kellers or sellers I should say. That kind of thing. A lot of uh, fair food and it's pretty cool. Yes I'm gonna let you know just how much I tell you Libby and I stumbled upon this church and we heard something going on in it. I thought it was just people were just viewing the church, but as it stands, it's looking like there's a big party. Like drinking champagne and whatever, but the church is just beautiful. church. Some weird sculptures though. I think it's maybe for the festival. There's some weird stuff in here. It's really beautiful. It's quite ornate. I don't know. Well look at all this weird stuff. Like what is all this? I don't get that either. It's disturbing. I said maybe it has something to do with the festival? Because that's not like a typical thing you'd see. Maybe it's a display And then there's a choir singing. And this looks like some kind of dinosaur exhibit. This is the altar. This display that looks like some kind of Norwegian Viking lore story. The, the artist got permission to set up his exhibit within this church. So people are viewing that as well as the choir is actually practicing for a real mass. It's going to start in about 30 minutes. It happens to be Sunday. So, what an interesting day here in Ghent. Some dessert. Livy wants some, right, Livy? What are you gonna get? We got some waffles. It looks I got one with chocolate, and then Livy got this one with uh, powdered sugar and strawberry. Now we've just walked upon like a full-on carnival. It's like, what is it happening in this city? It's pretty fun. Techno or something. That's a 
wrap here in Ghent. We're calling it a night, heading out to Mont Saint-Michel tomorrow by train and by car. Please join us for that video next week. And please remember to subscribe. You don't want to miss anything. Weekly videos on Saturdays. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time. Try not to hold me down. Feel alive when I'm in this town. Look at those beautiful stars. I want to take a trip to Mars. Nothing can break me. No, nothing can break me.